Venice's Jacaranda Roundabout is under review after a private study suggests the roundabout may be approaching its maximum amount of daily drivers. ABC 7's Christopher Brownlee joins us from the roundabout with more on what this means. Christopher? Well, this means basically that as a new study basically says that the roundabout will reach its maximum amount of daily drivers in just a couple of years. When it was first designed, Sarasota County hoped the roundabout would accomplish two important tasks. It would slow traffic down, and two, it would be safer in terms of fatalities. Both are correct. While it has stopped fatal accidents, driver Jackie Jones is still uncomfortable with it. I have to be honest, when I approach it, I approach very carefully. Venice Regional Hospital, which wants to build a new hospital nearby, hired a company to study the roundabout. While the Florida Department of Transportation suggests two-lane roundabouts not exceed daily traffic of 45,000 cars, the hospital study says the roundabout is at 41,200. So much depends on when you take the data, both time of year and time of day, and weather. I mean, you think about it, there are all sorts of problems. Jim Bennett, who served five years on the Metropolitan Planning Organization, said he wouldn't be surprised if Sarasota County removed the roundabout especially if either of the connecting roads was widened. I don't think they have any money to increase the roundabout size or redesign it once more. As for Jones, she sees the benefit of the roundabout but worries about increased growth in the area. If more people are using it, it may become dangerous. I don't think the roundabout is the safest way for heavy traffic to, be, to travel because you still get your people who are in a, in a rush. Sarasota County tells us they are reviewing the study, but they couldn't say more than that. We do know the study predicts that by the year 2020, this roundabout will have exceeded its amount of daily drivers. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.